Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. About time to. Time for our tale of the tape. First up, we have Lightning Hands. And they do have a reach advantage here. And they'll be facing Youngblood. This is the light heavyweight division where you get the best of both worlds. Heavyweight power, but good footwork and hand speed. And they will enjoy a power advantage. This is it. This is that fight. This is that argument. I don't know what to expect. First up, we have Lightning Hands from Jamaica. The last time we saw them, they won by knockout, looking to do the same here. Up against them, Youngblood from the United States of America. They are the SCI title holder. The last time we saw them in action, suffered a very close loss. Let's see if their fortunes turn around here. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner from Jamaica. Wearing the cyan trunks with red trim. Lightning hands. Hiding out of the blue corner from the United States of America. Wearing the red trunks with red trim. Young blood. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. So, all the talking's done. Now... Let's get down to action. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Punching. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. This is a historical moment. Not many boxers get to 50 fights. An absolute warrior. I want to think of holding on here for a minute. They're going deep into the gas tank on this round. Will the referee step in? Oh, and that changes everything! And down they go! Wow, let's take another look at that. I've got to see that again. back on his feet but for how long this could go south in a hurry that is a show of character when you're pushed down your roof is hurt your teeth hurt your body's hurting and you've got to get up suck it up and think right i'm back in the game again it's so so hard for a fighter <sighs> Need to be so find 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. You gotta wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is gonna be. We just saw you're being put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. And there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. This boxer is a real hook specialist. Their opponent has got to watch out for that. 
Misses with the straight left. He misses with that straight left. You know, we have to rank them as one of the best in the weight class. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Skill for skill, tap for tap, stop a match made in heaven. Punch himself out, though. <laughs> right hook just missed. <laughs> These two were missed. The corner's got the tower. They're going to throw it in. <laughs> He's firing back now. Sometimes offense can be your best defense. Defense, defense, defense is epic. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won. They ring the bell and here we go. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, it is not rolling wide, change it. An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you won that hands down. This fighter has a big, and they're down. Trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. Oh my goodness, I want to see that one more time. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. He's not, but for how long? Look at that. Oh, that's the referee thinking right now. As he weathered the storm. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Halfway through the round, and they're struggling a little bit. It's that forever hope. Remember the fight at Evander Holyfield? He should be behind on points until the last 10 seconds. But he's fighting like he's going to pull it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. And there it is. The knockdown punch we knew was coming. And as we see it again, there's no way to get up when you get clipped with a shot like that. A shot from the gods took him out. <laughs> So this was an unexpected turn of events. What happens next? It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Well, if this trainer has a pep talk, now's the time to use it as they were dropped twice in the last round. Unbelievable heart knocked down twice.
The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. They ring the bell, and here we go. It's been a nightmare so far. What can they do to turn this around? Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible, because your head must be all over the place. Your legs will feel like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Catch and shoot. You'd like to see more jabs. Nothing back here in the round. Missing with the hook. Where was the defense? Why weren't they covering up? Why weren't they more cautious? Didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. You want to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. That counter punch caught him clean. Couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well done with that. The fighter's vision is paramount, and the referee may stop it here. So this fight will continue. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest after a really strong round. Let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. His stamina is off the charts. This is with the straight left. You can't throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You're going to get knocked out. Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Wow, let's take another look at that. We need to see that again. They're back up, Johnny, but now what do they do to get back into this fight? The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make.
punch out. Put. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who won this round. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Can make or break a fighter. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. And there's the bell to start the round. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Beautiful counter shot. And he misses with that jab. Nope, that hook won't score. His stamina is off the charts. Pretty close fight here in this round. So much firepower here. It's a very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He needs to be careful not to punch himself out. You can see the heavy breathing, but that's not slowing him down. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. The bell something. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. After that last round, something has got to change. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be... That's a lot of swelling. The referee taking a good look at it. Is he going to stop it? The fight is over. And I can't believe that it's ended this way. This should have been stopped at the beginning of the round. Another stoppage win for the resume. An excellent performance for sure. A TKO, we've got to see it again. Because TKOs, they, they, they finish the story too early. It's like being kicked out of a club before the night's done. We want to get a, a whole-blooded who won and who lost. Not by a boat, not by a coat, not by a TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, after seven rounds of boxing, your winner by technical knockout and the new... SCI champion, Lightning Hand!